In this introduction to organic chemistry, you will learn the definition of a hydrocarbon and how functional groups give molecules similar properties. Organic chemistry is the study of carbon compounds. There are many millions of organic compounds that you can make using hydrogen and carbon and arranging them in different ways. Hydrocarbons are defined as compounds made of hydrogen and carbon only. The simplest hydrocarbon is methane. It consists of one carbon with four covalent bonds to hydrogen atoms. The next in the series has two carbon atoms and this is called ethane and is followed by propane and then butane. These being the names of the first four in the series of molecules called the alkanes. Pause this video now and try to draw the structure of hexane. Hexane has six carbon atoms. Here is the structure of hexane. Compare it to the structure you drew. Did you get it right? The next series is called the alkenes. These are hydrocarbons that contain a double covalent bond between two carbon atoms in the molecule. Just like the alkanes, each carbon atom still needs four bonds, but has two bonds already due to the double covalent bond with the other carbon atoms. The ethene molecule is completed by two more bonds with two hydrogen atoms for each of the carbon atoms. These also follow a pattern and the next molecule in the series is propene and then butene. Pause this video now and try to draw the structure of hexene. As before, hexene has six carbon atoms. Here is the structure of hexene. This time there is a double bond because it's an alkene. The video tutorial on the alkanes and alkenes will give you more in-depth knowledge on the bonding and structure of these series of molecules. As we have already discussed, hydrocarbons are molecules containing only carbon and hydrogen atoms. However, the study of organic chemistry includes any molecule with a carbon backbone. Functional groups are groups of atoms which give molecules similar properties. There are many different functional groups. You may have heard of the alcohol group. This is a hydroxyl group and is a hydrogen bonded to an oxygen, which is then covalently bonded to the rest of the molecule. This group can be attached to any of the alkanes to form alcohols, their name all ending in ol. For example, methanol, ethanol and propanol. Pause this video now and try to work out the name of this molecule. There are four carbon atoms in this molecule with an alcohol group and so its name is butanol. The alcohol functional group means that all these compounds will react in a similar way and will have similar properties. Carboxylic acids are another example of a functional group. This is the functional group for a carboxylic acid and gives an organic molecule the name oic acid. Methanoic acid, ethanoic acid, propanoic acid and butanoic acid. There are lots more functional groups. Esters which give molecules a sweet smell and make them useful for perfumes and flavourings. Ketones which make molecules useful as solvents. Amines which can be used as dyes and useful in making medicines. Some molecules have more than one functional group and give molecules different properties still. Now, by the end of this video, you should know that organic chemistry is the study of carbon-based molecules and that hydrocarbons and molecules containing hydrogen and carbon only. You should also know that functional groups are groups of atoms which give molecules similar properties.